What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little story time of how I was almost crushed at work. Yes, I almost died on the job. Now, I have since quit my job and I explained that in depth in more videos uh, on my channel here. And I quit my job to pursue my future, so that is all you guys need to know in this video. Check out some of my other videos, you guys will know more details of why I actually quit my job and what happened leading up to it. But let's get into today's story time. So I worked retail at Canadian Tire for five years. This story happened around one and a half, two years ago maybe. And at our location, when, since we had not too much space to store stuff in our warehouse, we resorted to transport trailers, shipping containers. Most of the time it was for bulk stuff, so skids of product that would come in, we'd put it out there. Um, tool chests, uh, exercise equipment, treadmills, stuff like that would go out in the trailers and containers. And that's just how we did things. So one night, I know for sure this was at least during the week, I know it wasn't the weekend because I was working till five and that only happened during the week at the time. That was back when I was full time, by the way. And uh, it happened between the hours of four and five. And I know that because at the time at four and five is when we have the skeleton crew come in. That's basically just one or two people in each department, it's usually one, maybe less. Sometimes you were asked to cover two departments and Everybody else was beyond lunch at the time. So whoever was working evening was on lunch. So I was the only one there at the time. And I was the only guy in the whole store that could lift. There's another guy who's in his 50s. He's kind of scrawny and skinny, but he wasn't actually supposed to be lifting or anything. So I was technically the only guy there that could lift and do any heavy lifting, stuff like that. So a customer came in after four o'clock. Actually, it was probably close to 4.30 because it didn't take too long after things happened. And he wanted a treadmill. So the treadmills were actually stored out in the containers like I just mentioned to you. So that's where we basically had to go. Since I was the only guy there, the other guy, even though he wasn't supposed to be left doing anything like that, he decided to come out, give me assistance, give me some help at least as much as he could. Um, and I would lift the majority of the weights. Now, treadmills are really heavy. Like they're usually a two person lift or more depending on the uh, treadmill itself, but they're pretty heavy and they shouldn't be attempted by yourself, but I had to do what I had to do. I had to sell the product, so I had to make sure it was there. He decided he was gonna go get the keys because we had them locked up. So he brought the keys, we went out, and when we went out, we noticed the doors of the transport were buckled out. Now these are old transports. We couldn't believe they're still standing um, because they're literally wobbly and you have a lot of weight in them. Like, why would you put a lot of weight in them if they're old and that? So one day they're going to collapse and it's going to be really funny. But as long as nobody's in it, it's going to be funny. But when we went out, the doors were buckled outwards. Now, you know, working retail or working around transports or anything, the only way that they buckle outward is when product is pushed against them. And we knew that something big and something bad was just about to happen. But it's our job. We had to get the product for the customer. So we had to at least attempt it and risk I guess our livelihood to get the product, which is one thing that sucks about retail is at times you are not always required, but you usually do stuff like this to please the customer, to get them what they want. So we were just, we took the job extremely cautious. We didn't try to rush things and we just tried to do it the best we could and things took a turn for the worst. And uh, let's just get to that part. So he decided we have, well, we have wooden steps leading up to the transport. So he decided to climb up and unlock it and unlock the chain. As soon as he unlocks the lock, put the key in and unlocked it, the chain kind of just went out of it because it started to release. So he had to jump down pretty quick. He was hit by the door. He was a little bit beat up at the end of it, but he had to jump down off these wooden steps pretty quick. And I think he landed on the grass area. And where I was standing on the step, I had to move pretty quick, so I kind of booked it backwards. Now, what happened next is something we weren't expecting. We are expecting one treadmill to pop out, but actually seven or eight happened to all of a sudden from both sides. We don't even know how it happened at the time. Both blew out and there's treadmills literally everywhere. And exactly where I was standing was where all the treadmills landed. So if I didn't make it... Uh, and I didn't decide to move back or if I couldn't move back at the time or if anything were else were to happen, I would have been likely dead. I would have likely been underneath these treadmills and that's 
kind of a scary thought, but it's something, it just happens and it just happens. There's nothing we could do about it. Um, we ma managed to find the one the customer needed, sold it, got it to her, and we were having to put all these treadmills back in it. Now at our time, and our, at the time, our adrenaline was through the freaking roof. It was maxed the hell out. And the main reason for that is what just transpired, what just happened. So our adrenaline was pumping. We didn't know really what the hell was going on. So we put them all in there. Didn't know why it was like this. Went inside, talked to manage management, told them we were pissed, told them that we almost died. We almost got hurt because we did. They understood. They decided they're going to talk to the warehouse crew because they were the last ones in there the next day and kind of see what the hell happened. Turns out they put the, tr the, the treadmills in there exactly like that, leaning up against the door. Don't ask me how they got out of the door before they all tipped out, but they did and they shut the door and they know they knew it was buckled outwards, but they didn't care. It was the end of their shift. They decided to go home. Um, where it looked like one was sold and then all of a sudden they tipped forward, they actually just had them leaning upwards straight. Of course, they will tip. So when you put them in, you're supposed to lean them to the back of the trailer and they just put them in straight. So they all toppled over like dominoes. And uh, that's extremely dangerous. They were told not to do that again. They didn't really care. They're still employed there, which I don't even know how, because in my opinion, they're idiots. They're dangerous. They're putting people's lives at risk at all times. And uh, they didn't care. So they pretty much said they didn't care. And then management didn't really do anything about it. They're like, well, we told them already. There's nothing we can do about it now, which they could have. Um, so this is kind of the quick little story of how I was crushed, on, cr crushed at work. It wasn't my fault. Uh, it was, I guess, people not knowing how to do their job right. I guess that would be the actual reason. And that is one thing that infuriates me. It's like you can put people's lives at risk but you're not going to take responsibility when something happens does not make sense to me does not even sit well with me like it's something that really pisses me off but i'm gonna leave this story here i hope you guys did enjoy comment down below if something like this has happened to you at your work and i'll see you guys in the next video please take care peace